asking me on and off if I can do a video on how I do my little um, hair scarves and bows and today I'm making one big one because my hair is in curlers so I can show you that one and then I can take them out real quick and show you how I do them when my hair is down and I can't show you the ones when I have straight hair but I might make a separate video or there's plenty of tutorials online you can just kind of wing it figure it out um, I'll likely end up making another one and I'm probably gonna make one for how I do like how I set my curlers too or just like a little um, photo set but anyway so scarves uh, this one is probably my favorite it's uh, the rattiest also uh, and I don't wear it in public when I'm in curlers just because you know you can see them through and I feel like a jellyfish and but so then I usually I have all these other little square scarves like this one that are big not that big actually they're they're small and square and they're just the right size to tie over curls um and with these how you tie them I'll show you on this one but I do have other ones available so first off oh, I'm missing a curler um you take the thing look you can see how ratty it is I just close um you take it and you fold one of the corners down. I like to fold the corner that is ripped to shreds because a bobby pin went through it. You fold it to about halfway down and you take that and you tuck it into the bottom of your hairline and pull it up. And if you can, take the little tail of the back and tie it into the first little knot you do because it's harder to tuck it back in later. Um, oof, this is not the best time. So you just tuck that in and you flip it back and then do your little bow and you just flounce the bow up. You tuck everything in. Usually it would be flatter on top. There we go. You, you kind of, you can see it. It's a little like I Love Lucy look. Um, and again, just I use all sorts of colors and little things. Silk scarves work the best because, like, cotton ones and things, they slip, which you would think silk ones would slip more, but they don't. And all right, so I am. I also have. Oh, I did not plan this. Um, big square scarves like this one and this one which are really pretty and really nice and but they're huge and so if you put them up in your hair and you have curlers in they're just like gigantic and you have this big bow which is sometimes kind of nice but usually again I like to wear it around the house and not actually out because I like the little ones when I'm out because then I don't look as ridiculous and I don't draw as much attention but you know still a little unique hairdo um yeah so now I'm going to take my hair out and brush out the curls real quick and hopefully they aren't too messy because they have been up in a scarf all day and uh, like I said or I think I said I will be likely doing another video on how I set my curlers and I just got these new curlers that are uh, they're kind of like the pillow curlers if y'all know what that is they have like a sort of squishy middle and then they have uh, wires on the edge for you to like fold on to the same place and I haven't used those yet because I'm afraid to use them because I'm afraid I don't know how to use them correctly and I'm gonna get weird hair like I don't know it's just not gonna look right and but I do want to use them because with these these aren't that bad they're not too uncomfortable I mean they're foam but they do have this plastic part which just came out of this one which locks it into place and that can hurt if you're sleeping like I have to find strategic sleeping positions for these um, oof, you get to see the nice crazy ringlets and my front curl fell off today because it was so humid I decided to leave my hair up in curlers and I wanted to undo one just so it wouldn't look like a housewife and but now it melted throughout the day so we will just ignore that um, oh, I'm almost done, I promise. Also, if any of you have other 
videos you would like me to do, I would be happy to take suggestions, maybe not happy to do them. Uh, it depends on what you are asking. Uh, I might do a makeup one later. I don't know. This is the first time I'm wearing makeup in a week, and I just threw on eyeliner and pink lipstick, which is working fine. I just looked like a ghost earlier without it. And I don't know. I don't know what else y'all would want. Um, uh, I'm sorry. There's two more after this one, I think. It's nice. Okay. Oh, I should have planned those slash planned my timing better, but... Eesh. So, with the set of curls, I did it on uh, semi-wet hair, so that they're like, you know, y'all can see the really tight little bouncy curls. The tighter ones up here are because I put them in the uh, green curlers, which are smaller than the pink curlers. And, yeah, smaller curler, tighter curl. I'm going to brush these out a little bit. Oh, I'm glad you can actually tell my hair is red in this video. Whew. A little bit of poodle hair. wasn't planning on styling this much at all, but I might have to. And again, tighter curls, more of a poodle mess and nice, like, little 40s waves. But with the length my hair is, I mean, it's like down to here. I like it to sit a little higher up. To actually look, oop, it's a curler. Uh, so it <laughs> needs to be tight. I don't know, my lamp just went out. That was strange. This is probably the worst video I've done, and it's going to be the longest. So, hmm. And I'm just using the Boar's hairbrush that I used in my other video for styling these. Um, many curls. And they sat for a whole, I guess, 24 hours, so they're very big. Yeah, okay, um, I'm just gonna throw a couple bobby pins in, I think, to make it do what I need it to, just so I can tie the scarves in right. Um, this side back. No, eh. It's fine. Um, I would generally style this more and maybe do my little faux bob or, I don't know, brush them out more so they're less 80s. But, you know what, for this video it works. It's very curly. Um, so the other hair scars I use are these big, long, thin ones that are really pretty and floral. I love floral ones for these because whenever you tie them, they look really pretty on the ends. And um, then I, you know, just solid color ones. And this one is longer than the others. You can't really tell because they don't fit in the frame. But uh, it'll give you a bigger bow, which is sometimes not what I want. So with these, they're simple enough. You just sort of tuck them under your hair. You might need to pin for its back like I did. Uh, you pull them up, tie them. I like to put them sort of over my part. I don't know why. It's just, uh, you can, again, play with the bow. And tuck, I usually have to tuck away the little excess 
I guess, tail of the bow. And my poor little. I don't even know what to do with this. Um, but yeah, there you go. Uh, generally, I do this a lot when I have straight hair, which is simpler and just sort of makes straight hair look prettier and more vintage. Oof, these are some messy curls. I, oh, but you know, you get the general gist of it. Uh, and the same thing I would do with the other ones. There are other ways to do it, like where you put your hair up in a little, you know, cute ponytail or a big uh, beehive or a little bun, like sort of faux beehive bun. And you... I'm distracted by it being flat. I'm going to put it back in acrylic for a second. But, and you can find videos for that everywhere. And I might end up doing one, but I might not. It took me forever to do this one. So, yep. That's all. I'm sorry. These are so bad. This is 11 minutes of me just being bad at this. I just want this curl to set. <laughs> okay, bye you guys.